Now, 27 storm track weather with meteorologist Alexis Clemens. Well, it's the first Saturday of September. We're looking at a beautiful sunrise here to kick off the weekend. A hot weekend, though. Temperatures this morning, not too bad, but they are getting warmer. You'll notice that it's much warmer right now than it was this time yesterday. Sitting at 66 there in Madison and Baraboo, 64 in Reedsburg, Middleton and Prairie du Chien, 61 in Janesville, 57 in Lone Rock. And as we're going through our day, we're going to be warming up. The 90s return for your holiday weekend, but if you are now it's a great day to be in Madison. Taste of Madison is happening at the Capitol Square today. I will actually be there with other people from WKOW from 2 to 5 p.m. So find us. We have a booth near State Street, but 91 will be that high temperature. So make sure you're staying safe out there, hydrated, take care of yourself, take plenty of breaks. We'll see mostly to partly sunny skies and a nice breeze out of the southwest up to about 15, 20 miles an hour. That is going to lead, though, to a little bit of a, a fire danger. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. But for a high of 91 today, it's also the Badgers home opener. So a lot going on in Madison today and it is going to be warm out there, hotter and breezy and still going to be warm as you might be heading out for the fifth quarter as well. The forecast high is 91 degrees, which could be the hottest game ever recorded at Camp Randall. We had to do some digging here, but the record high temperature during a game at Camp Randall is 90 degrees. That was set, that was set back on September 1st, 2011 against the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. So it is going to be a warm warm one out there. Make sure you're staying safe. We're also tracking this record breaking heat through the next few days. I don't expect any records to be broken today in Madison, but the record for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday with high temperatures at 96, 95 and 93 respectively. I do think that we break some records here. The good news is, is that we're not really going to be dealing with a lot of humidity. And the reason why dew points are in the 50s, the 60s by Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's when we're going to start to feel a little bit of a heat index. But to give you uh, kind of something to reference, last the last heat wave that we saw, remember when those heat index values were near 120? That's when the dew point temperature was near 80. So thankfully, we are not going to be dealing with that. And these that increased humidity will eventually need, lead to some rain chances that should cool us down. So we're in the 90s through Tuesday, 87 Wednesday with that rain chance. And then we drop into the 70s, it looks like, by Friday.